Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a spinner onto your website. So every time that you switch between pages, you get to see a spinner just like that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. In order to demonstrate how this works better, I went ahead and created two HTML files. I have index.html and about.html. So we're going to be switching back and forth between these two so you can see how the animation works. All right, let's add a message here that says that we are in the home page. Let's add a link that is going to take us over to the about page. And let's add a couple of spaces here. Let's add an image. And I'm going to be adding a URL to a website that is going to generate a new image for us every time that we refresh the page. So go ahead and just copy that URL. And now let's add a class with the name of loader. And this is where the loader itself is going to go. So let's copy this. We're going to paste it inside of our about page. Let's change this to about, and this is going to take us back to the home page. All right, now let's create the loader itself. So let's get access to the loader class. We're going to use position fixed because we want the loader to follow us around, no matter if we scroll down or up the page. And of course we want it to be right in the center. So let's do top zero and left zero. We want it to take up the entire screen, of course. So let's do width 100 VW and height 100 VH. Now for the spinner that is gonna go in the center of the screen, we want it to be in the center. So let's use display flex, justify content center and align item center. All right, let's change the background color. Now, this is not the background color of the spinner itself, but everything else that is around it. So you can use whatever color you want. I'm going to go with F7, F9, FB. And we're also going to add a transition to opacity of 0 0.75 seconds and also one to visibility of 0 0.75 seconds. All right, now we're going to create a class called loader hidden. We're going to set opacity to zero and visibility to hidden. So we're going to be adding this class dynamically onto our loader class with JavaScript. So as soon as we add it, the loader is going to disappear off the screen. All right, now we're going to add the little spinner itself. We're going to use after for this. Let's set content to an empty string. And for the spinner, we're going to use a width of 75 and a height of 75. All right, let's create a border. Let's make it rather thick, 15 pixels. And I'm going to go with hex code DDDDD. All right, let's add the color to our spinner. You can use whatever color you want. I'm going to go with 7449F5. All right, currently it's a square. Let's turn it into a circle with border radius 50%. Now let's add the animation that is going to make it spin. We're gonna call it loading. It's gonna last 0 0.75 seconds. We're gonna use ease and this is gonna be infinite. All right, to create the animation, we're gonna use add keyframes, loading. And to do this, we're gonna use transform, rotate. So this is going to start at zero and it's going to end at one turn. All right, there's the spinning effect. Now what we want to do is remove it off of the screen as soon as the page loads. So let's do window, add event listener, load, and let's create a function in here. Let's get access to the loader class. All right, so as soon as the page loads, we want to add the loader hidden class to remove the spinner off of the screen. So let's do loader class list add loader hidden. All right, and there we go. The spinner has been removed off of the screen. 
Now, not only do we want to remove it off the screen, we want to remove it from our code because currently we can't see it, but it's actually still there. It's just hiding in the back. So let's remove it from our code. So we're going to do loader, add event listener, transition, end. So once the transition has ended, we're going to do document body remove child. We're going to remove the loader class. Now, remember this transition end is going to take effect as soon as this transition is done. So it's going to take 0 0.75 seconds for the loader hidden class to fully take effect. And then it's going to remove the class off of our code. So now when we switch over to the different pages here, you can see that the loader effect is in full effect. All right. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.